happiest years of my life. And yet you have somebody like Beth Quitty who worked her whole life raising a daughter to get to this point and then to have it taken away uh, just senselessly the way it was. I talked to her about the need for her to get answers and about the possibility of a boycott of Aruba. This is what she told me. Are you willing to step forward now and say that there was a cover-up or there may have been a cover-up down there? Oh, I, I won't say their name. Okay. Oh, yeah. Well, I, I'm just wondering how tactful yeah. you're going to be yeah. at this point. Because yeah. it was tough yeah. at the beginning because right. you had to work with them. Oh, well. And right. you could always tell you were always measuring your words and being the cautious that. Yeah. Uh, but now you're willing to say there is a cover-up. They're trying to protect these three young boys. They okay. never, they never wanted to implicate these three, these three young men. They never wanted to implicate them from the beginning, and there is a list of reasons, you know, why we, why we know that's true. If you leave Aruba, and you know you will never get answers there, is that when you go on a one-woman crusade to find justice in another way, as far as whether it's it, cutting Aruba off from tourist money or letting the whole world know just how corrupt their system is. Is that is that the end game for you? Well, I think that that's where I have to rely on our government here to help me in that and in, in, in how we can go about getting them to recognize that this, this cannot be unsolved. You know, and I think that we did our part. We remained respectful and we remained, you know, so... You know, we just kept thinking, oh, it's going to work. You know, we didn't, you know, senators were calling us and you know, Governor Raleigh was calling us and we're like, we're, we're, we're okay, we're working with the system, we're working with the Dutch law. And now I look back on it and I think, you know, what fools we were. But, you know, I still look back on it and think, I'm glad that we did the right thing. I'm glad that, that you know, so now they're... There's no question. There's no question that it didn't work. Nobody can question it at all. Isn't it time for politicians in America, and for parents, more importantly, parents in America, to warn their children, mm -hmm. to warn their loved ones, don't go to Aruba because it's just not safe. Oh, absolutely. It is time. It, 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 it will be time. Will you go to Governor Bob Riley? Will you go to other news outlets and start demanding a boycott of Aruba? It, it will be time. It will be time. You're going to talk about what happened to Natalie in Aruba when you, you're going to go out and talk to high school kids, college kids, warn them about what happened to her and what could happen to them if they go to Aruba or the wrong country? Well, I think that all I'll have to do is is I'm just going to tell Natalie's story in, that happened to her in Aruba. And I think that that will, I mean, that's the awareness as it is. I mean, and all I will be simply doing is just, is just tell, I will tell what happened. I will tell what happened to her when she arrived on the island of Aruba for her, for her senior trip and how on her passport it stamped she only expected to stay four nights there. <laughs> it's only stamped four nights. So... I think that some people have a better account of it than I am. I have. I know it. We're getting into months, so I kind of lost track of days. I just, I'm just, you know, we're approaching month five. But, um, and I think that that's powerful enough as it, as it is it will leave an impact on them because, you know, I'm not going to be telling them. It's, it's not going to be coming, like, from a parent telling them or to be safe or telling them things to do and not to do. I'll simply be telling her story. Mm -hmm. and it will have an impact in itself. I'll tell you what, Beth Holloway Twitty is just one of the strongest women I've ever met. You, you remember the movie Still Magnolias? I, you sit there and you talk to her, and you understand that these three punks that did whatever they did to her daughter are not going to have a, day's, uh, uh, a day of peace until, again, she finds justice in Aruba. And I just want to ask the crowd, there are, there, there are a lot of people here from Alabama, Georgia, across this area, but, but if they continue to cover up what happened to Natalie, how many people here would support a boycott of Aruba? Americans going to Aruba. Because I've got to 
tell you, everybody that I talk to that have that that understand what's been going on here, you know, they all support the same thing. They think, again, if the Aruban people are not going to provide justice, then you know we're going to have our politicians going to need to step up and do the right thing. I think that's exactly what's going to happen. Now, when we come back.